Uh, Billy, sit. Right, so we're here back for another little training session and I'm going to do um, one of my training basic series videos where we're going to be talking today about what I call my basic routine. And this is going to be encompassing heel work, sit, an element of stay and a basic retrieve and all the bits that bring that together. So it's what I consider a basic drill, but there's still quite a lot of different elements that we have to pull together to make sure that that all works correctly. And for me, the basic routine is a bit like a foundation on a wall. All my other bits of retriever training are gonna click onto the top of this. So it's being able to walk the dog to heel, turn, stop, have the dog facing in the right position, doing a basic retrieve. And I'm gonna try and go through those bits now. Billy's pretty keen, we didn't train yesterday, we didn't have a training day yesterday. So they always come out a bit fired up. It might be a mistake, me doing these basic drills with them straight away, because normally I'd be doing some other bits at this stage. But we're gonna try and show you that together today. Now the first thing I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna put on one of my training leads. Um, you'll see me using these an awful lot. Super short, three mil cord training leads. Um, I'm just gonna pop that over the top of his head. Good lad, well done. There's a little loop that goes over a knot. Now I don't necessarily have to use one of these with him now, but in the early stages, if you're at the beginning of doing basic retrieving, this is what I like to do. So we're gonna go through a few of the, the stages first here, hopefully now. So, good boy, good lad, good lad. You can see how keen he is. He's literally quivering. So the first part of my basic routine is to be able to walk my dog to heel, be able to turn. So I'm gonna to touch on those couple of elements first. So what you'll notice is when I turn, I've talked about this in lots of other videos, but it's part of my basic series. Whenever I turn, if I turn to my right, I'm gonna lean over and engage the dog to get the dog to keep up with me. If I'm gonna to turn to my left, I'm gonna use the lead to prompt the dog with a little tug to turn sharp. So for example, heel, when I turn, lean over, lean over, see the dog keeps up with me. He's very, very keen. Again, turn over, lean up, dog keeps up with me, okay? What you don't want to do, sit, is turn and just turn like this. Often the dog will carry on. So just before I'm gonna turn, I wanna lean over and engage the dog first. Good lad, good lad. So, do that again. So as I'm turning, lean over, lean over, lean over, get the dog to keep up with me, sit. I've touched on all these different parts throughout my videos, but I'm trying to pull it together for this one basic routine, as I call it. I teach a lot of my clients this right at the very beginning. So once they've done their heel and their sit, and they have a basic out and back retrieve, this would be the next stage. Often still doing this in the house at this point, normally in a hallway. So we're pulling together the heel, the sit, and the retrieve. If I'm gonna turn left, so heel, I'm gonna little tug, tug, and then turn sharp. Wasn't ready for that then, so tug, turn sharp, and they're gonna get the dog to keep up with me. He thought I was doing a sit there. Good boy, good boy, good boy. Turn to my right, engage the dog to keep up, and then sit. So I'm able to walk out, turn either to my left or the right, the dog either keeps up with me, or I have a little tug to make the dog go back the other way. Now I'm gonna do a basic retrieve. Now you need to be able to do a retrieve out and back and then I'm gonna show you how I put those bits together. So a basic retrieve for me, if you've been following my vlogs, you'll see how I generally do it. And again, this is the same thing that I do with my clients. Get rid of that, so it's a distraction. I've got one of my 150 gram natural rabbit skin dummies here. And before I put that together with the heel work, I want to be able to do a straight send. So that's me throwing a retrieve down, eye contact, and then sending the dog straight away. Okay, so I'm just gonna put the retrieve out. Donkey drop retrieve, he's gonna look at me. He knows to look at me. He's probably thinking, what are we doing here? I'm gonna send him. He's gonna come back to me. Sit, good boy, sit. Billy, Billy, sit. Good boy, good boy. So at this point now I say left hand lead, right hand retrieve. Tug on the lead, take the retrieve, the dog's back to heel. Okay, so he's turned in there. He's getting a little bit full of himself here. Oh, stood on your toe. Okay, so I'm gonna put the retrieve down again. I need to create a bit more space so you can see. Good boy, good boy. Heel, good boy. The problem with me breaking this down so slow, for him, it's good for you, obviously you need to see that, but for him it throws him out of kilter because he's like, he's not used to doing it like this. 
but I'm going to put the retriever out. So again, it's eye contact. You can see how he's looking. There's no tension in the lead. And also he is pointing straight. What I don't want him is him turned in like this. I don't want to be stood a long way from him. Okay, I don't want to be stood back behind him and I don't want to be stood right in front of him. Okay, I want my toes level with his front toes and we are both facing forwards. Are you ready, Billy? Sleep. Nice clear send. Good boy. Sit. Ah, ah, ah. Sit, Billy, Billy. He's a daft day for when it comes to the delivery, but we are getting better. I'm getting him to put his head between my legs at the moment now and he's holding the retrieve nicely. Left hand lead, right hand retrieve, at dead, thank you. Good boy, sit. So we'll do one more like that. So again, it's all about positioning. You wanna get in the habit of the dog facing straight. So at the beginning when you first start this, don't let that dog get in the habit of being turned inwards like this. Think about where your feet are, so straight. I'm gonna put the retrieve out. I'm gonna come back a bit again. So I keep edging too close to the camera, sit. Okay, so I'm gonna put the retrieve out. Eye contact, sleep. I'm gonna send him for it. Good boy, good boy. Sit, sit, good boy, good boy, well done. Good boy, he's so full of himself. Dead, dead, ah, ah. gently, good boy, heel. Right, so we're gonna put that together now. So this is the next stage. I'm gonna put the retrieve out, and I want to be able to walk in the other direction away from the retrieve. I'm then gonna walk back towards the retrieve to within quite a close range. I'm gonna sit him up and then send him. Now, when you first start walking them away, often they're like trying to pull back to go back to the retrieve. If you have to walk 100 yards up the field until he switches off from that retrieve, then do that. Because you're only gonna walk right back in front of it anyway. So even though you might have a, a, a separation of distance and time, He's not going to forget that retrieves there. I'll give you a, I'll speed this up in the video so you can see it. So if I put the retrieve down here, I prefer to turn into the dog because I can then block that retrieve. Tug, heel. Sit. Now, normally I would keep walking, keep walking, keep walking. He's obviously doing this because he's used to doing it. But if the dog was kept trying to pull back to go to that retrieve, I would just keep going until the dog has stopped showing me that he wants to go back for the retrieve. It might be 10 yards, it might be 100 yards. It doesn't really matter. Then when you turn around, walk back towards the retrieve. And now we want to sit up nice and close, straight sit. So we're bringing together lots of different elements here. We've got the eye contact. I'm going to check my feet position. And then I can send him. Good boy, good boy. Sit. That's better. Good lad. Good lad. Good lad. Dead. Dead. Thank you. Okay, so... I'll do that a little bit quicker now. So I'm going to put the retrieve out, sit, tug, turn into him, fast walk. Again, I would just keep walking if I had to. He's nice and relaxed though, so I can turn, turn, walk back towards the retrieve. Sit him up, wait, and then send him. Good boy, good boy, sit. Good boy, good boy. As they get better at this, then the further you can effectively dead, Dead, dead. Effectively, the further you can start to send the dog from. So it starts working on a bit of memory retrieve as well. But for me, it's the heel, it's the sit, it's being able to turn the dog away saying, no, nope, we're not actually gonna pick that now. We're gonna walk away, then we're gonna walk back towards the retrieve. Then we're gonna sit up, correct positioning, eye contact, and then sending the dog with a very clear verbal and physical. Something I talk about a lot, I've talked about previously, don't be just like, go on then, or fetch it, or be very casual, because you will get a casual response from that later on. Don't be surprised when your dog runs in because it just sees a casual movement that it, uh, it, it uh, thought was you sending the dog. Whereas if you're very clearly saying back and, and you've got a very clear verbal or physical, get out, get on, whatever it is that you want to say, if the dog does make a mistake, you know that you weren't casual, and so therefore you can correct off that. But if your send command is very casual, that could cause you problems a bit later on. Anyway, I hope I haven't confused you guys and this sort of makes sense. It's what I call my basic routine. So it's heel, sit, retrieve down, turn around, walk away, come back, sit the dog up, eye contact, and then send. And from that, you can build all your other bits of training onto that. So you've got your back retrieves, your lefts and rights, your memories, and your blinds. Anyway, I hope this has been useful. As usual, don't forget to subscribe and like, it does help me. Any questions, stick them in the description below. 
Otherwise, happy training, guys.